Hi, I'm Lillian Peterson. I'm 13 years old and I live in the beautiful mountains of New Mexico. Some of my favorite hobbies include running, playing the violin, computer programming, and science. A major issue in politics right now is climate change, so I decided to use my skills to find out for myself if the climate is really changing. When people see events on the news, such as extreme droughts, heavy floods, or major heat waves, they wonder, is this because of climate change? Because there is already a lot of research done on climate change, I wanted to do something new and unique. So I decided to use only the raw daily data straight from other stations and examine the extremes as well as the means. I downloaded data from the Daily Global Historical Climatology Network, and I started out with about 4,000 stations that had daily weather data since 1950 or earlier. Each station recorded a high and low temperature and precipitation every day. That is about 300 million data points, or about 28 gigabytes of raw data. The raw data came looking like this, and I wrote over 1,200 lines of my own Python computer code that read in the data, made monthly and yearly averages, computed the means and extremes, and made over 20 plots for each individual city. This is a plot for a single weather station, Atlantic City, New Jersey, which has the longest record with good data in the United States. Because this is a plot of the yearly average of highs, each blue dot is the average of the daily high temperatures for that year, and the green line is the best fit line. The slope of the best fit line for this plot is 2.6 degrees Fahrenheit per century. Next, I calculated R squared, the goodness of fit of the best fit line, where zero means no fit and one means a perfect fit. Here, the R squared value is 0.46, so 46% of the variance can be explained by the best fit line. Because climate change can't be detected at just one station, I had to find a way to plot all of the stations. So I took the slope of the best fit line for every station with data since 1950 and plotted it on a histogram. So this is a histogram of the slopes of the best fit lines. The curved red line is the best fit normal distribution, the solid red line is the average, and the black line is zero. Almost all of the stations are warming, and less than 3% are cooling. The average warming is 4 degrees Fahrenheit per century. This is a map of the R squared values. Every point that is red means that there is less than 1 in a thousand chance that the warming happened by a random process, and every point that is blue means that there is less than 1 in a million chance. Next, the extremes. All measures of heat extremes are increasing including warm days, the number of daily highs each year above the 90th percentile, heat waves, three consecutive warm days, and warmest high temperature of the year. All measures of cold extremes are decreasing. This includes cold nights, the number of daily lows each year below the 10th percentile, cold spells, three consecutive cold nights, and frost nights, the number of nights below freezing. With the combination of fewer frost nights, more heat waves, and the warmest day of the year getting warmer, agriculture will suffer. The growing season will be longer, which might be nice, but will also bring up more pests and more severe heat stress. Heat extremes will also increase the risk of large fires and the geographic range of infectious diseases. The change in precipitation is varied. When looking at the map, it can be seen that it varies by geography. A good example of this is Australia. The east and west coasts are severely dry, while the north is getting wetter. In the US, the east is getting wetter, and the west is mostly neutral. I wanted to share my work with the public to help them better understand the risk so of climate So I made an interactive change. online map that shows how each weather station is changing in the means and extremes. When they click on the link, they can see plots for that individual city and the histograms for all the cities. This better connects with people because they can see how their hometown is changing. People can also see patterns by geography. Most stations in the US are warming, while Europe is warming even more rapidly. This project has convinced me that climate change is real. The means are warming by about four degrees Fahrenheit per century. All heat extremes are increasing, all cold extremes are decreasing, and the change in precipitation varies by geography. Through my interactive map, I hope to help the public better understand climate change.